What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be going over 10 tips and tricks that you guys can use to get a 1400 plus, maybe even a 1500 on this upcoming May ST for digital and non-digital ST testing. First tip is to familiarize yourself with the format of the exam. You see, if you're taking a digital SAT, your format is different, right? You have a calculator for both math parts. There's a different number of questions, a different time limit. If you're taking a non-digital SAT, it's a different format. So it's your standard format. You have your non-calc, your calc that has a calculator. You have your writing, your reading comprehension. You know your time for each one. You want to make sure you know what you're getting into, right? Why would you go into an exam with no idea on how this exam is administered, how the timing works? You want to know this before you go into the exam so that way you're prepared and you're not blind blindsided by any second tip is to study as early as possible now depending on when you watch this video it might be a little too late in fact you might be in panic mode but luckily there are a lot of resources out there that can get you from a, a 500 on the math sat to like an 800 within like seven to eight hours for example my st math course my st course bundle will get you right under 14 hours if you have like two or three days left for the exam watch both courses at a discount and you should be able to get at least a 1400 plus the next tip is to take practice tests this is a pretty basic tip that i feel like all youtubers will give you in the st niche practice Practice tests help you guys. It teaches you guys how to attack problems that will be on the SAT because practice tests are the most realistic representation of what will be on the exam. So let's say you want to see how you will fare on the math part. You don't know if you want to study more or study less. By taking a practice test, you can see where you are or you can see whether your predicted score, if you use LearnQ.ai, is at that 1400 plus range, right? You can see if your ST math score is above a 700, your ST reading score is above a 700. And that's why you want to use AI power platform like LearnQ.ai, or you can just manually track your progress by taking practice tests and see oh are you improving every practice test because that's the best way to really see if you are actually studying effectively and if your study is paying off and based on your practice test this is where the next tip comes in you want to focus on your weaknesses guys if you're good at something why spend so much time doing it again and again let's say you're really strong in linear equation and you find out on the practice test you just took let's say practice test five you got a hundred percent on every single linear equation question why would you spend two or three more hours studying linear equations when that time can be spent studying studying quadratics let's say you suck at quadratics and you need more help and you're only getting 50 percent of those questions correct well those two or three hours can be very crucial they can literally set the difference between you getting 50 percent of quadratic questions correct to like 80 or 90 percent so you want to study smart even if you have a little time left you want to study where you're weak at because that's where you'll see the most growth next tip is to use a variety of study materials all right some people just want to use practice tests all day and that's all they do and if it works for you then good but most people you need to spend some time you know studying the sat in a variety of ways personally i would say use khan academy right take practice tests use learnq.ai watch my course there, there's different things that you can do to really help you study better on the sat and by studying for the sat in a variety of ways you're exposing your brain to sat problems that might be worded differently it might be asked differently different topics you're, you're basically keeping your brain on its toes keeping your brain versatile so when it comes to the actual sat you're not like whoa i've never seen a problem like this or whoa i've never been asked a question like this because you're used to every single way a problem can be asked because you've been studying in a variety of ways the next tip is to improve your reading skills pretty straightforward right i have ST reading course highly recommend it you guys should watch it it's a big discount on it right now ST reading is hard all right it's probably the hardest section you're going to face whether you're a digital ST test, test taker or non-digital because reading sucks all right none of us read i don't know about you guys i personally don't read that much i mean i just started getting into it to really build my entrepreneur skills and business skills but if you're a high schooler chances are you're using spark notes or cliff notes and you're not reading i know because i was i used to be you i used to use spark notes all the time so when it comes to comprehension skills we kind of suck and that's why our ST reading score reflects that we're getting like 500 to 650 but we want to get that 700 plus that way we're at that 1400 plus range that 1500 plus range so to do that i really want you guys to focus on improving your reading skills again use khan academy i think that's one of the best resources for us to reading as so many passages it has a bunch of questions that you can you know do and constantly rehearse develop your reading skills obviously you might see reading course as I mentioned earlier and sometimes just pick up a book and read it right because it's comprehension guys if you're able to understand the text you just read that's the most important thing you can do right if you're able to comprehend it and you fully understand it then you're gonna improve your reading score no matter what it's literally a default effect my next tip is to memorize important formulas and concepts on the st math section the only way in my opinion to really accomplish every single problem super fast and complete it within like two three seconds is if you have every Everything memorized if you're used to you know seeing the same type of linear equation problem again and again and you have the formulas in your brain like you don't even have to like think about it for a second it just comes out right away that problem will be a piece of cake a lot of students have to battle it just knowing what formula to apply to the problem should i use y 
y equals mx plus b should i do y2 minus y1 or x2 minus x1 equals m like how do i use the formulas in my brain and apply it to the problem and for a lot of students they don't even memorize the formula and at that point there's almost no hope of getting the correct answer unless you guess correctly because you don't know point slope form and the problem requires you to know point slope form there's no way you're getting that problem correct unless you have the power of god that you guess correctly but that's why i recommend genuinely spending time to memorize all the formulas on the sat now you guys might think there's a lot and i mean there's a fair amount and if you're looking for like a source a study source that has all the formulas you need for the st math section you can check out my st math notes they're pretty cheap link in the description below it has every formula you need or I mean, maybe if you can go online and find some free resource and go for that but you just want a sheet or like my notes are 25 pages but whatever document you find you want to find a document with all the formulas and you want to rehearse it every single day leading up to the main sat or june sat for taking that because that way you have everything memorized and it'll be fresh in your brain and you just recall it like this next tip is to manage your time carefully all right during the exam a lot of students end up running out of time and that's one of the biggest factors that cause students not to get that 1400 plus this is a hard habit to break but if you can't get the answer to the problem within like two minutes even like a minute 30 seconds i think it's time for you to move on to the next problem now if you find yourself skipping like every single problem in the exam that's because you're just not ready for the exam and you're probably going to get a bad score now, that's just reality but if you can you know answer like six problems really quick and the seventh problem is taking a long time then just just skip it do problems 8 to 14 so do six more problems really quick and then just finish as much as many problems as you can and all the hard problems that you skip just do them at the end that way you're not spending too much time on number seven and as a result you don't finish eight to twenty or you don't finish let's say sixteen to twenty when sixteen to twenty was super easy and if you just did seven at the end you would have finished all those problems and then max worst case just lost a point on number seven but now because you spent so much time on number seven you lost points on sixteen to twenty which is why you know skip that problem it's okay for the reading section the history passage the one that has passage one passage two usually bakes a lot of students so the best thing to do for that is what i personally do is i skip that type of passage and go to the other passages finish them and then go back to the passage one passage two style questions whether it be history or sometimes even science nowadays manage your time carefully ask the proctor how much time is left look at like the timekeeping maybe have a stopwatch by you because that way you're not losing track of time because the worst thing that can happen is you like you expect that you have like 10 minutes left but in reality you have two minutes and now you're like oh shoot i gotta guess on everything the next tip and this goes into how to study for the sat is to take breaks all right a lot of people don't realize that taking breaks is an effective thing you don't have to be studying every single second of your life to have a good study session if you take a break let your brain relax let your brain soak in the information you just read soak in all the formulas you've been hopefully been memorizing take that 15 minute break watch a episode of anime or something watch your favorite tv show watch no don't watch a movie that's still too long relax yourself right and then once you're fully relaxed get back into studying and your brain will be able to pick up information at a much faster rate than if you had just kept going kept going kept going and your brain was on like low energy it's like a phone battery right when your phone battery starts getting that one percent two percent becomes really slow just charge it for a little bit and boom it'll last for a long time up until that it gets back to one percent two percent charge yourself take your time that way you have a more effective study session the next tip is to get plenty of sleep the day before the exam i do not want you guys staying up late studying for the exam and then when exam day comes and the morning hits you're super sleepy super tired super groggy you can't memorize concepts because everything's a blur in your head and you just give off the worst performance you possibly could have because you didn't sleep enough guys sleep well in fact the day before the sat you should not be spending that much time studying you should have already studied a lot max maybe study like four hours for the sat the day before max honestly three hours and then just take a break take it easy the next morning of the sat just like read through your sat notes whether it be my st math study notes or your own and then just go into the exam with a fresh brain fresh head fully awake fully rested and you'll do good if you made it to the end of the video comment down 1400 plus easy so i know you're a real one and i do want to say i highly recommend you guys to check out my sat course bundle it comes with a free learn ai pass it comes with a free one hour session and it comes with free sat notes so it will help you guys a lot it's only 215 dollars and a bunch of free stuff included so you know it's a math course a reading course all that in one you guys will genuinely have a nice score boost if you get this course so thank you all for watching be sure to check it out link in the description below Thank you.